Now, this has to be the world's most annoying sound, and we're just using these aluminum bars here. Now, this is a solid aluminum bar. You can see they're cut different lengths as well. All right, here's the sound. Now, that's not the weird sound. Let's actually arrange these like this and see if there's a difference in these sounds when we play them with the spoon. Ready? There is a little bit of difference here, but the sound is being muffled because the vibrations are being deadened by the table. So here, let me pick it up here and hold it in the middle and listen. I like a chime, not bad. Higher, so the shorter the bar, the higher the frequency, and the higher the pitch. And now let's see what this is. Highest of all. Were you noticing this? Here, listen to this. Listen, listen. I'm hearing two sounds. Listen. Are you hearing that high-pitched sound? If you have a dog at home, just see if the dog is annoyed right now and the dog is hearing the high-pitched sound. That's an overtone. You don't have to strike the bar, believe it or not, to get a sound. The trick is to coat your fingers with rosin powder. And now, let me hold on to this in the very middle because I don't want to deaden that vibration. But now let me pinch the uh, aluminum rod and then pull it across here and see if we can get it to vibrate. Here, listen. You hear this? No hitting it at all. Listen to this sound versus the highest sound. Oh, here we go. Higher. And finally, the lowest sound of all. The lowest sound between the three bars is, of course, the longest bar. So it's an amazing way to be able to make a crazy sound using a principle called stick and slide that creates vibration. Vibration creates the sound. And right now, every dog in the neighborhood is coming to your house or running away.